Thanks to a loophole, six teenagers are running to be the next governor of Kansas. You see, Kansas is one of three states with no age requirement to run for governor. So the six high schoolers filed to run in this November's elections. Now, Kansas lawmakers are looking to change that by introducing a bill that would require anyone running for governor to be at least 18. If passed, the proposed bill wouldn't go into effect until January of next year to avoid conflict with the candidates who would not meet their requirements <laughs> in November. All right, new year, new emojis, of course. Gotta have the, um, the issue, which is the Unicode Consortium, which is a nonprofit that sets the global standard for emojis, has announced that new emo emojis are on the way. And we can all rest easy, right? Yeah. Uh, 157 new emojis, to be exact. There will be a variety of new hairstyles, including curly, even bald. More hair colors will also be available. How do we not have a breaking news animation over this? New animals will also be coming. The emojis are expected to be released sometime in August or September of this year. This year. A kangaroo and a llama for you, Karen. I know. Uh -huh. Llama it, drama. If you plan on watching any cross-country skiing during the Olympics in Pyeongchang, you're sure to see power, perseverance, and pain. Cross-country skiers, they really endure a tremendous amount of exhaustion and pain when they compete, and it really is obvious. Call it being in the pain cave. The ultimate goal of a cross country skier is to be so tired at the finish line that they can't stand up. People go, oh, did you scream because you knew you got, got a medal? I'm like, no. I screamed because I was in so much pain and I couldn't breathe and I was starting to black out. <laughs> Now that's a teaser. Remember, opening ceremony tonight at 8 right here on Local 4. And they've trained for that. They do. 